Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about adding and subtracting similar fractions. So this topic is one of the essentials na kailangan nating pag-aralan when it comes to the operations of fractions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically guys, let us define first what is a similar fraction. So let's say here, similar fractions are fractions with same denominators. So I have here two sets of examples for you to be familiar with the similar fraction. Sabi dito, similar fractions are fractions with same denominators. So for the first set of our example, we have 5 over 7 and 7 over 2. So para masabi lang natin sila ay similar fractions, ang kailangan nyo lang tignan ay yung kanilang denominators. If parehas or same ang kanilang denominators, therefore, they are under similar fractions. For this example, we have here, your denominator are 7 and 7. Though magkaiba yung kanilang numerator, as long as parehas yung kanilang denominator, they are considered as similar fractions. So let's have example number 2. We have 4 over 5, 1 over 5, and 3 over 5. As you can see, pare-parehas yung kanilang denominators na 5. Therefore, 4 over 5, 1 over 5, and 3 over 5 are examples of similar fractions. Ang tanong dito ngayon, paano ngayon mag-add ng similar fractions? Adding or subtracting similar fractions, ito yung steps natin. The first step is simply add or subtract the numerators then copy the denominator. And for the second step, simplify if possible. So here is our illustration kung paano ba mag-add ng similar fractions. We have A over C plus B over C is equal to A plus B over C. As you can see, sabi dito, add or subtract the numerator then copy the denominator. Add A plus B. So you have A plus B and then copy your denominator C. And meron lang tayo ritong restriction wherein your C is not equal to 0. Now, for you to understand well kung paano ba talaga mag-add ng similar fractions, I will give examples sa next part ng ating video. Now, I have here six different examples for us to practice how to add or subtract similar fractions. Let's start with these examples. It says here, add or subtract the following fractions. For number 1, you have 3 over 7 plus 2 over 7. Itong dalawang fractions na to, ay under siya ng similar fractions, again, because they have the same denominators. So, ang procedure natin, review lang tayo, ha? Add your numerators, and number 2, copy your denominator. And lastly, simplify if possible. So, for this example, add your numerators 3 plus 2. And then over, copy your denominator, which is 7, kasi yun yung common. And then, add natin 3 plus 2, that will give you 5 over 7. Another thing, kailangan ko i-remind sa inyo, when you are doing operations on fractions, kailangan nyo i-check if kaya pa bang i-simplify or express ang ating fraction in lowest terms. In this case, this will be our final answer kasi wala na silang greatest common factor aside from 1. Okay? So let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, we have 3 over 16 plus 9 over 16. So add the numerators. You have 3 plus 9 over 16. Okay? So when we add 3 plus 9, that will give you the sum of 12 and then over 16. Now, for this fraction, we can still simplify it. Kasi yung 12 natin and 16, meron silang greatest common factor na 4. So, you can divide. Your numerator by 4. Ano itong ating denominator by 4? So, 12 divided by 4, that will give you the answer of 3. And as for 16 divided by 4, that will give you 4. Ibig sabihin nito, 
the final answer in item number 2 is simply 3 over 4. Now, let's have number 3. Sir, bakit po yung number 3 natin, tatlong fraction niya? Don't worry, kasi madali lang yan. Though tatlong fraction lang yan, still, we need to follow the procedure on how to add or subtract similar fractions. For number 3, we have 3 over 45 plus 14 over 45 plus 8 over 45. Follow the rule lang naman dito. So, gawin natin sila ilalim. We have 3 plus 14 plus 8 over 45. Yung 3 plus 14 natin, that will give us the answer of 17 plus 8. That will give you 25 over your denominator which is 40, 45. So, ang gagawin mo nito ngayon is to check if we can still simplify it. Kung, kung mapansin nyo, parehas sila nag-end sa 5. Ibig sabihin sila ay divisible by 5. So, we can say na ang kanilang greatest common factor is 5. So, if ang kanilang greatest common factor is 5, you can divide your numerator by 5 as well as your denominator by 5. So, it will give us 25 divided by 5, which is 5. And then, yung ating denominator, 45 divided by 5, that will give you 9. Kung mapansin nyo, wala na tayong pwede pang simplify. 5 over 9 is already in lowest terms. So, yung number 1, 2, and 3 natin, nag-focus siya sa pag-add ng similar fractions. Now, let's move on with number 4. Yung number 4 and 5, 6 natin, uh, nakafocus sila ngayon on how to subtract similar fractions. For number 4, we have 4 over 5 minus 2 over 5. Same procedure. Add your, ah, sorry, subtract your numerators. You have 4 minus 2. And then copy your denominator, which is 5. So you have here 5. And then simplifying this, simplify natin. 2 minus, ah, sorry, 4 minus 2, that will give us 2 over 5. Fine. Wala na tayong kayong simplify dito kasi ito na ay naka-lowest terms. So we have here 2 over 5. Now let's move on with item number 5. We have 10 over 27 minus 4 over 27. Gawin natin dito, ilagay natin dito is 6, ah sorry, 10 minus 4 over 27. And then subtracting this number, this will give us 6 over 27. And then, yung 6 over 27 natin kasi, meron siyang greatest common factor na 3. So, we can divide this by 3. And also, we can divide it by 3. And then, 6 divided by 3, that will give you 2. And then, for 27 divided by 3, that will, this will give you 9. Ibig sabihin nito, yung sagot natin is equal to 2 over 9. And let's have the final example. For our final example... We have 22 over 33 minus 6 over 33 minus 5 over 33. So, subtract your numerators. 22 minus 6 minus 5. And then copy your denominator, which is 33. 22 minus 6, that is 16 minus 5, that will give you the answer of 11. And then for your denominator, copy 33. And as you can see, we can still simplify this fraction, 11 and 33. Meron silang greatest common factor, which is 11. So we can divide this by 11. And also, we can also divide the denominator by 11. And 11 divided by 11, that is 1. Okay. And then as for your denominator, 33 over 11 that will give you the answer of 3. Ibig sabihin, kahit anong haba ng ating fraction, isa pa lang yung maging, isa rin talaga yung maging sagot natin, which is 1 over 3. So, I hope na natuto kayo on how to add or subtract similar fraction. Sana, uh, kung natuto kayo dito, can you please give me a thumbs up and then please do subscribe to our channel. So, sa next part ng ating video, Kasi gumagawa ko ng series of videos for ABM students na nag-focus sa fractions. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. 
again, I'm Teacher Don. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!